some, but of course, now we're back to the four four weeks, which means we can't talk about them. I don't think even you use the Wayback Machine there, because no one cares about Pokemon Week, so yeah, that's going to be a problem. If there's going to be four four problems again, yep. But I was supposed to talk about this yesterday, but I didn't. And two more movies were moved from Disney Plus. Of course, it was Fantastic Four and its sequel, Fantastic Four Rise of the Sword Surfer. But of course, people say streaming's the greatest thing ever. That streaming's important and how it's gonna change everything. Well, I've been reminding people for a year, for the last couple of years, you don't own things on streaming. You do not. Okay? You do not own anything on streaming. Okay? And of course, the bad, the infamous Fantastic Four reboot film remains, but basically, Greedy Hill, they have deleted all these movies. Why? No one knows. But this is just proof. Okay, and again, streaming uh, and on other services like Amazon, shows come and go all the time. Okay, and when people aren't finding so. What are you gonna do? Okay, of course they can pirate a show, but you know, <laughs> and of course do stuff like that. But there's you, know, you have to wait and hope and pray that the streaming service that you subscribe to brings back this movie or TV series that you really liked. If you want to watch it again, or you have to buy it on Blu ray, which I know most of these people will not do, or buy it on a digital service so you have the movie. Streaming, you do not own a movie, okay? They give you the illusion of owning a movie by subscribing to those services. I know people don't understand this. I don't know why people don't understand this. But Disney Plus removed two Marvel movies. And basically telling you, again, that you do not own these movies. So that's basically about this video. Goodbye.